Hey guys, so you've probably heard about the huge 8.9 earthquake that just happened in Japan a couple of days ago. I just want to say first of all, I'm safe. I actually came back to Australia just before the earthquake struck. So I'm safe, I'm very safe. In fact, I can't be safer. Um, so I want to thank everyone who's been worried about me, sending me um, personal messages, um, profile messages, um, message comments on my videos, asking if I was okay, if I'm safe. Um, I am safe. Just want to thank you so much for your concern, concerns. Um, so pretty much with the earthquake, after I heard about it, um, I was really worried because my host family and my friends and everyone pretty much was still in Japan. So immediately I messaged them in every single way I had, every single way I could. Um, email, mobile email, Facebook, everything. I messaged them. Um, at first, none of my friends replied me. So I was like a bit of a panic, um, like, oh my god. Um, my host parents, they replied me. They said that um, in Gunma, which was the place where I lived, it was um, six. A Richter of six, the magnitude of six, that was not as strong as Tokyo, the northeast side of Tokyo, but it for, for an earthquake, six is really strong. She said, my, my dad said that um, the windows were shaking and it was shaking for a long time and everything was trembling. Um, everyone was really worried. It was one of the, the most, not most, it was one of the bigger earthquakes they've had in Gunma because Gunma is one of the safest places in Japan for earthquakes. They don't usually have that much, that many earthquakes. Um, with me, when I was in Japan, we had a couple of earthquakes, but it was only like a Richter of three, and it only lasted for seconds. And apparently this one that my dad told me lasted for a long time, and everyone was really frightened. Um, some of my friends, they replied me, finally, telling me that um, the trains had stopped working, the electricity is gone, was blacked out for 12 hours or something. Um, and then what else? Um, she said, he said, um, the phone lines weren't working. Everything was in chaotic, it was a very chaotic situation. Um, my friends, my group of classmates actually went on a trip to Okinawa for the school trip, the whole of year one in my school went to Okinawa for their school trip, the end of the year school trip. And when I rem when I re suddenly remembered that, I was in a panic mode um, because Okinawa is like a little island and then you hear about the tsunami, 10 meter high tsunami, you're like, right? So I was a bit of a panic and before nobody replied me and then I started remembering, okay, um, because the school, you're not allowed mobile phones, so the teacher must have collected their mobile phones, and so they couldn't contact. But after a whole night of waiting and, and worrying, um, one of them finally replied me. They said that, um, yeah, they went to Okinawa, um, and when they were about to come back, the earthquake struck, and they had the airport shut, so they had to stay in Okinawa for another day. They're safe now. They're back in Gunma, which is where I used to live, and that nothing bad happened to any any one of them. So after I heard that, I was relieved, and then all my messages got replied and Facebook messages. Everyone was okay, and I was very relieved. Um, yeah, but it's kind of unreal, like how I was there just a while ago and now I'm back here I'm so safe and where else my home the place which was my home for the past year has become some place so dangerous and you know you kind of feel so it's very weird it's a very weird feeling I talked to Jo if you remember her she was the girl from Denmark she was she was she was she couldn't believe it either it was so unreal like how we could be there a while ago and now we're away from all these trouble. It's very unreal. Yeah. 
But just want to thank everyone again. All my family in Japan, my host family, they're safe. My friends are safe. Um, I'm yet to contact my school to check everyone's safe there. Um, just want to thank everyone again for your concerns and that it really means a lot to me. Like, you guys are not just YouTubers viewing my videos anymore. You guys are like my friends. Every time I read your comments, your messages, I might not reply to them straight away, but I feel so happy. Like, I feel happy because you guys feel happy watching my videos. So, just want to thank you again so much. Um, from now on, even though I'm not in Japan anymore, I'll still continue to make videos. So, um, please keep watching, and I will follow on with any updates on the earthquake and any other updates regarding this situation. If I hear any more things, if I hear any more things, I will let you guys know. So for now, thank you and let's all pray for Japan, okay?